All right, a teaching moment. I'm gonna do a teaching video. I think it's very necessary at this point because from reading the comments here, I see that a lot of you really don't understand how the financing operations of the US government are conducted, all right? Now, those financing operations are conducted in tandem with the Federal Reserve and the US Treasury. They work together. Now, I've been reading a lot of your comments here, and also this is just a common thing that I've been hearing. Uh, people saying, well, because the Fed is reducing its balance sheet, it is draining dollars out of the global uh, banking system, and that is creating a shortage of dollars, and that is what is pushing the dollar up. That is completely wrong. And I'm going to explain how the government conducts its financing operation. And you should be able to understand after that how this is wrong. All right, so let's start off with the Fed balance sheet reduction. Uh, since it began last October, the Fed has reduced its balance sheet by something like $173 billion. So what happens? How does that happen so the assets on the Fed's books, uh, and we're mainly talking about um, treasury securities and mortgage-backed securities, the Fed is allowing those to roll off. What does that mean? It means it allows them to mature, and the proceeds from the maturity of those instruments are not reinvested. So what happens in, from an accounting standpoint is um, those assets are debited from the, the Fed's account. They disappear. The assets disappear. And the liability, which is the reserve deposit that the Fed put in there when it bought those assets, put into the banking system, that disappears. So you had a $173 billion reduction in the Fed's assets, and then you had a $173 billion reduction in the Fed's liabilities, which are the reserve deposits. That's the so-called money those are those dollars you're talking about. A lot of you said that's the, the money printing. That goes away. So now, a lot of you stop right there and you say, you see, Mike, the Fed is reducing its balance sheet, so it's taking money away. Voila, end of story. But that's not the end of the story. Because as the Fed is doing that, the Treasury at the same time, is expanding its balance sheet. Now, what do I mean by that? I'm going to explain. We have seen in the period of time that the Fed has reduced its balance sheet, a drop in reserve balances by roughly 175, 180 billion. Okay, so you say, uh-huh, there it is again, Mike. The Fed reduced its balance sheet, so you see reserve deposits, those dollars have been drained out. However, here's what happened. In that same period of time, we're talking about October until now, the Treasury sold 750 billion more Treasury securities than the same time last year. So, you would think with the sale of, and when the Treasury sells those securities, that is a drain on reserves. So you would think that if the Fed drained by $180 billion and the Treasury sold in that same period of time $750 billion, what is that? That's $930 billion. So how come reserve balances at, at, in the banking system only fell by $180 billion? You see, the Treasury sold $750 billion on top of what the Fed drained, and the total reduction in reserves was only 180 billion. Why is that? That's because the Treasury spent an additional, what's the difference between 750 and 180 is 570 billion net spending. So a net amount of 570 billion of new dollars was added in order for the treasury to sell the 750 billion and still arrive at a net drain of reserves of only 180 billion so you have to think of the financing operation of the u.s government as two 
entities, two parts. You can't just look at the Fed, which is what all of you are doing. It's the Fed and the Treasury combined. And the Treasury's spending adds reserves to the banking system, which those, are the, those reserves are what are used to buy the Treasuries when they are sold. All right? So you can't have the Fed drain $100 billion and the Treasury drain another $750 billion, a total of $930 billion, and only have reserves go down by $180 billion unless money was added. Added, okay? Do the arithmetic. Do the arithmetic. So, there is not a net drain on the system. The money was added through government spending itself. Don't forget, the government runs a deficit. Where is the $570 billion? That's what the deficit is right now. $570 billion. That's the amount of spending above what was taken away. That was a net addition to the financial balances of the non-governmental sector. So the money is put in. There is no, you know... Uh, Fed balance sheet reduction draining dollars and causing the dollar to squeeze up. You just got to do the arithmetic and you could see. The Fed cannot drain $180 billion and the Treasury drains $750 billion more and only have a net reduction of $180 billion. Money had to be added and it was. That's a fact. That's how it works. Now, all of you who are saying these, these things, and I'm not going to call you stupid because people don't explain this. This is not explained. And you even have high-level economists saying this kind of stuff, which is wrong. You cannot have the Fed reduce its balance sheet, debit reserves by $180 billion, and on top of that, the Treasury selling another $750 billion, which is $930 billion, and only have reserves go down by $180 billion. Money had to have been added, and it was. That's how it works, folks. So this whole entire dollar rally based on this premise is zombie buying, and it's going to end. There is no fundamental support to this. None whatsoever. And if it didn't happen in three months, so what? This is a correction. I started calling dollar top when the dollar index was at 104. It went to 88, and now it's at 95. Big deal. I don't, three months to me is nothing. I held a Mexican peso position for almost two years. I got out with a profit. You cannot have the Fed drain $180 billion, and on top of that, the Treasury drain another $750 billion. That's $930 billion of net drain, and the amount that reserves came down were only $180 billion. These are facts. These are numbers. Money was added. You, if you're looking at the finances of the U.S. government, how it conducts its financing, it's the Fed and the Treasury combined. The Fed is shrinking its balance sheet. The Treasury is expanding its balance sheet. That's how it works. Educate yourself, please, people. The comments here are ridiculous. Ridiculous.